Ooh, mommy. Look at this color. Period. On period poo. So, you guys, this is Glamazon Tay, and I'm back with another video. And today, you guys, I'm going to be showing you how I got this pink lemonade type of look, okay? This hair is actually from the DJ Sanchez hair collection, you guys. So, check them out, because I have that all linked in the bio and whatnot and whatever. But, y'all, this look didn't take much at all. Now, I did get this hair in a longer length. It was, like, 28 inches or so. And I wanted to cut it, because I just felt as though I wanted a shorter look for this, because I wanted you to be able to see all the hair and everything in this frame and whatnot and whatever. So, that's how we got to to this lip but y'all know I don't like talking in the beginning of my videos I'm just gonna get right into it because I know y'all want to see some tea and whatever so let's get into it so first starting off you guys the colors I'm gonna be using are Arctic Fox Porridge and Arctic Fox Electric Paradise I'm gonna have me a bowl as well and some gloves and you guys this blonde wig like I said I've already originally wore it but I didn't like the install of it so I ended up cutting it and I'm gonna go ahead and dye over this toned color but so far so good the hair is doing normal now I was first gonna go ahead and do the water method and I think this was like one of my second times doing it with this dye but it really wasn't that successful at first so what I ended up having to do was put boiling water in there and that helped the dye to like you know spread around so that I was able to actually do the water dip method because before that the dye actually wasn't activating with the water too well and then I just let it sit in there now I didn't use too much dye inside of there because I still wanted it to come off as a pastel color I did not want it to be a harsh color at all so that's why when the wig is lifted is no color really in it no more and you see it turned out really like pastel a light kind of tone to it it's not harsh at all or very vibrant which is amazing because I wanted this ombre look to look amazing so next I dumped that water out put boiling water in again and now I'm gonna go in with this sensations hair color and I believe this is the Hawaiian one I'll link that in the description though as well and since I just wanted to do the edges this time I actually just dipped them now I dipped them I lifted them up I dipped them a little bit more and I kept going up until I was at my desired length up top Okay, so next, you guys, this is the install portion. So I'm going to go ahead and use my wig cap, put my wig on. The color turned out really, really pretty, so I'm really loving it. But I wanted a few little baby hairs with this. So let's try to work on that real quick. And I'm also sizing this with my head, making sure everything is angled right. The person I went to before, they didn't really do it that perfect. So you know it's one of those things where you got to go back and do your own thing. So that's what it was. And I'm just trying to fit it. Now, first, starting off to do this bomb install, I'm using my hot comb now the hot comb helps it to move in the direction I want it to be in I want some baby hairs in the front and I want this part to go towards the back so the hot comb just helps me to position everything and make it really sleek you know and then next I'm gonna go ahead and use some got to be glue just go ahead and brush my edges back and then I'm gonna put my cap on and push that back a little bit more as well and then put a little bit more got to be glued on top of that and this is how it's going I'm gonna secure my wig most of the time when I secure my wigs and they're not permanent is with got to be glue gel then next I'm just gonna sit that on top as you guys can see and it's actually kind of looking good now it's blending a little bit now but of course we gotta put a little bit more work to it and whatnot and I'm actually gonna have to cut the ear out as I see because it's not fitting properly so you actually can do this on your own it just takes a little bit of time so just be patient make sure you take your time and you can be lit cuz sis the girl before she didn't do it right So next I'm gonna go ahead and put my scarf on and this is going to help to keep my wig into place because I don't use any type of um, glues or anything. And I'm just cutting these baby hairs off because they don't, I don't need them technically so they're just kind of in the way. And as I pick it up, you guys see how it's melted in it, but of course we're gonna make it blend a lot more and it's gonna look a lot more better as well. And this is the part where I needed to cut out the ear so it could lay a little bit better. Now with this style today, I wanted to do a half up, half down hairstyle and have it curly. I don't really do too many styling techniques, so I wanted to try something different this time. So first starting off, I just went ahead and separate everything. I'm gonna be using these products to actually curl my hair and this is how I keep my curls looking really luxurious, looking really mount 
I'm about to say malnourished, looking very like nourished, healthy, and silky. And I believe this curling bar I'm using is one and a half inches. Now the thing with me is I love to pin my curls. That just helps them to set because when the curls are warm, if you keep them in the same position and then you put clips on it until they cool, they actually last a lot longer. And that's something I learned a while ago. So next I'm gonna work on the top portion and I'm just gonna use my hot comb. This is gonna help everything to lay a lot flatter, a lot smoother and look a lot better, you guys. And I'm just gonna make this ponytail as tight as possible and hoping that it doesn't pull up. So that's kind of why I left the edges scarf on it because it helps to secure the edges down as well while I'm sitting here trying to put my hair in a nice ponytail. I could have did a lot better now that I'm looking back on it, but for the time being, it served its purpose. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. So I ain't going to complain at all. And I'm just going to curl this top portion as well. Now, overall, you guys, this hair actually was pretty good hair. I really, really enjoyed it. It worked along with me. And for it to be blonde hair, it wasn't too much shedding. It was the normal shedding that 613 hair does, but it wasn't like horribly done at all. And I feel like this look turned out really, really cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Definitely comment, like, and subscribe. And also let me know what other colored looks you guys want me to do. I haven't done color looks on my channel in a while, so I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. And thanks for watching, you guys. Guys, mwah, see ya. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah, see ya. And also, also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Glamazante. <laughs>